So, a long, long time ago, there was this great prophet named Lehi. He was married to Sariah, and they had some kids, Laman, Lemuel, Sam, and Nephi. The Lord commanded Lehi to take his family and leave their home because the whole city of Jerusalem was about to be destroyed. After wandering around in the desert for a while, Father Lehi gathered the kids and told them they had forgotten something super important. What could it be? Gold? Silver? Their toothbrushes? Or maybe Zelf, their pet dog? Nope. Lehi told them it was the brass plates. A record of their ancestry. It contained part of our Bible and was just as important as our scriptures today. They couldn't leave it behind. The only problem was that it was in the hands of Laban, a really powerful and bad dude. He had 50 soldiers working for him. 50 mean, scary soldiers. Yikes. Nephi and his brothers had to go back and get the plates. As they got closer to the walls of Jerusalem, they decided Laman would be the first to ask Laban if they could have the plates. And it didn't go so well. Laban was so angry, he called Laman a thief and said, I will slay thee. Laman told Nephi and his brothers what had happened. They thought it was hopeless and wanted to go home. But Nephi said, let us be faithful and convince them to give it another try. This time they decided to go to their old house and gather up all their gold and valuable things. They thought if they gave all their fancy loot to Laban, he'd have to give them the plates, right? <laughs> Nephi's brothers ran and hid in a cave. <laughs> Nephi and Sam wanted to try again, but Laman and Lemuel were mad. As they were beating up their bros, an angel came down and pretty much said, Stop. Go back to Jerusalem, and the Lord will provide a way to get the plates. This time, Nephi took the lead. He hopped over the wall and headed for Laban's evil lair. He didn't even know what he was going to do, but he was faithful and led by the Spirit. Then he saw some guy lying drunk on the ground. It was Laban. The spirit told Nephi to kill him. What? The spirit told him, it is better that one man should perish than a nation should dwindle and perish in unbelief. This was a hard thing for Nephi, but he followed the spirit, slayed Laban, and put on his armor. In his best Laban voice, he commanded the servant to give him the keys to the vault. <coughs> Yeah, Nephi finally got the brass plates. Because of Nephi, generations of people were able to have the word of God and the records of Moses, Abraham, and Isaac. The scriptures are so important for us today. And when we read them, we can learn about Heavenly Father and have the Spirit. Let's always remember to read our scriptures and be brave like Nephi. In the words of Nephi, and we had obtained the records which the Lord had commanded us, and searched them, and found that they were desirable, yea, even of great worth unto us, insomuch that we could preserve the commandments of the Lord unto our children.